a music lesson for a grade school student. A normal sight in many countries around the world, extraordinary in Afghanistan, where under the Taliban regime, music was widely banned as un-Islamic. The Afghanistan National Institute of Music aims to restore the strong pre-war tradition of Afghan music as well as training students to a professional level in Western classical music and instruments. You see, Kabul was a very thriving, Afghanistan was, had a very thriving music community 30 years back. And as you know the history, I mean, with the, on, when the Taliban came, they destroyed all the music instruments and, and now we are trying to revive it, and it should be revived. I mean, it, it has a very rich, uh, Kabul, Afghanistan has a rich musical uh, background. An initiative of the Ministry of Education, pupils come from a vast array of backgrounds. But one of the main foundations of the school is to help disadvantaged kids to get off the streets and into school, using their talent for music to forge their future. Oh, I do have students who, you know, used to sell chewing gum or used to sell plastic bags. And, and now they, and many of them are, are little girls as well, so they face tremendous pressures on reasons of, of gender, of, of socioeconomic class. Their families receive an amount of money which is slightly more than what they made on the streets of Kabul to encourage the children to stay in school instead of going back to the streets. From traditional instruments to Western influences, students attend school for 10 years to explore the full panorama of music. But this is not just a hobby. The Institute's founder and director has hopes that these young people will find jobs as professional musicians on a world stage. It's a country that, uh, which does not have, up to now, a national orchestra. It's a country which is lacking brass bands for uh, its military barracks. It's uh, a country which does not have uh, an ensemble of even Afghan traditional instruments. There are small groups playing here and there, but uh, we would like the Afghanistan to have a big orchestra of Afghan traditional instruments as well as a national orchestra. Sometimes it's a struggle to keep students in school if their families object. Recently, when the brother of one student returned after working several years outside Afghanistan, and as soon as he came to Afghanistan and he saw that uh, his sister is studying music the first day, he stopped the girls or prevented girls from coming to, to the institute or to the school. So that, that then we had a long discussion for several days and uh, uh, it took me uh, probably two days to convince the man that Afghan National Institute of Music is a safe place for, for the girl and uh, this is a place which assists the girl to the, develop a, uh, sustainable economic future and she might be one day playing in the world of a state given the talent that she has got. As well as traditional music, students enjoy contemporary sounds like the school's house rock band. These students put down their sitars and violins after class and pick up guitar, bass and drumsticks. Uh, all people of Afghanistan like music but uh, we want to try to uh, say to all of the world that Afghanistan can be equal to all of the country and uh, we can introduce our uh, culture with the music and our uh, everything that in country happen with the music. Whether the school will survive in the face of conservative opposition remains to be seen. But if students, both young men and women, have the opportunity to showcase their talents, it's much more likely that they'll play on in the future. This is Ruth Owen in Kabul for the NATO Channel.